So we've so far to solve systems, we learned two methods, right? We just said first method of solving system was graphing. Second one was called substituting method, substitution method. We're gonna learn something a method called addition method. Okay. Uh, so here is how we do addition method. So let me just give you an example. First of all, look notice these two equations. They're both in what kind of form are they in? So this addition method is simply so first of all, they're both in standard form, as you can see, right? So if you're gonna do this method, they have to be in standard form. So uh, and all you have to do is see on the on thing standard form, ax plus bx equals c. All you then have to do is add them together. Go ahead and add them together. What I mean by that is look you write it vertically like this and you add x plus x. What do you get? What is what is positive y plus negative y? Zero. What is 14 plus 4? 18. 18. So all you do is you add the two equations that way. And now, all you have to do is divide both sides by 2. And isn't this way pretty nice? So once you know the x, okay, you plug it into one of the original equations. So when you do, what do we get here? Everybody go ahead and try. So, so how many people got the answer? Nine five. Nine five. I do. Okay. Now, notice what happened though. W look what it says. Must obtain a what? New equation with just one variable. Notice what happened to the y's. When you add these together, the y's what? Canceled out. If it does not cancel out, you think we could use this addition method? No, you cannot. Okay, so you must. So first, you put them in standard form. If they're, if they're not in standard form, then there are cases where the one variables would disappear, right? Once you add them together. So make sure you do that. If that happens, we could use this method. So why not do this every time? Meaning, how come could we do this every in every cases? The no. answer is no. You must. Eliminate one of the variables, okay? Eliminate, okay? So you must eliminate one of the variables when you add. Otherwise, you cannot do this addition method because when you get that third equation, right? You must have an equation with only one, using only one variable, right? It must be, okay. Why not do this every time? You know what I mean? Like if you have every, any kind of system, why not do this every time? Can you do this every time? No, sometimes one of the variables will not go away. But you will find today, that actually we could do this as long as you do something. We'll show you why. What in a minute? Okay. So, so like I said, you have to eliminate one of the variable like here when you add them together. Uh, but turns out, I'll show you in a minute how to do this for every case. Okay, you could actually solve systems of linear equation using addition method. So uh, before I get there, how about if I try example two? Now look at example two. Do you think just adding the two? Uh, Equations, uh, the systems is equa these systems. Uh, do you think I could get rid of one of the variables? No. First of all, are they in standard form? Yeah. yeah, they're in standard form. That's good. So that would not be helpful, right? You don't get rid of one of the variables. So what do you think I should do first? Some of you said subtract, but I don't like subtracting. Even though the book tells you you could do subs sub subtraction method, I'm going to show you because people make mistakes and stuff. So there's one nice thing before you do. Yes, Claire, what do you think? You multiply, very good. You, only, you factor it out when you have an expression. Now, since you have an equation, why not multiply the bottom equation by negative one to both sides? Does that, when you do that, does, do you, does the solution change? No, you can multiply both sides of an equation by any numbers you want, and the solution does not change. So why not do that first, right? Best way. So what you're gonna do is you multiply both the bottom part by negative one first, then who can tell me what the second equation becomes? So first equation stays the same, obviously. And look at what happens to the second equation. Heiko, what do I get? Um, you get y equals... No, 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 no. Second equation, when I multiply the... Oh, the second one? Yeah. When I, I want to multiply by... Uh -huh. Negative 3x minus y equals negative 7. That's right. And now, I could add them together. And as you can see, when I do, the uh, x's will cancel out. Do I always have to get rid of the x's? No, it could be y, depending on what kind of equations you have, right? So let me get rid of these x's, and who could tell me what I get once I add them? Yeah, you know. Oh, y equals negative 
y equals negative 5. You see how easy it is? So I got my one other variable, y. Now, how do I find x? Just like before, yes, Jeffrey? You plug in y equals negative 5 and you do it because y Right, you choose one of the original equations and you plug it in. Okay. And go ahead, go ahead everybody. Oh, you all got that already? Okay, who's got the answer? Kevin? X is equal to 4. Let me see if I got that one. Yes, I got that. So we should write the answer as an order pair. Right? So negative, was it negative 5, 4, or 4, negative 5? Okay, don't make that mistake. It's in alphabetical, right? Alphabetical order. You want, must write X first. Okay. So what if I give you this? Example, Example 3. Let's see who's thinking about this. And yeah. What if I give you something like this? Now, even if I multiply the bottom one by negative one, or is there a way to get rid of the variable? <gasps> Not at this point, but I told you, it turns out that you could use this method every time as long as you do something beforehand. Molly, what do you think I should do? Multiply. multiply. Sure, I could multiply the top equation by two, two or negative two. two. Oh, negative two, because I, I want to add. I don't want to, right? I could do that, right? Because if I can multiply both sides of an equation by any number, right, we multiplied by negative 1 before, right? Does this change? I can multiply an equation by any number to both sides. Does the solution change? No, it does not. They're equivalent, remember? So I can multiply the top equation by negative 2 to both sides. Or what else could I do if I wanted to? Jennifer? Yeah, you can multiply the negative 2 on the bottom one. Okay, there, there's, right? Because then you could get rid of the x's. You understand? So uh, I don't know what I did. Because it doesn't really matter which one you do. I think I did, oh, I didn't, I multiplied the bottom one by negative two. Is that okay? To get rid of the x. Isn't it easier on the top? The same thing, right? I mean, it's how, yeah, it doesn't really matter. So you could do it either way. You should, get, you should still get the same answer. So let's say, since I did it this way, why not just do it this way? Who could tell me what I get on the second equation then? When I multiply the uh, bottom equation by negative two, who could tell me what I get here? Yeah, I'm multiplying by negative 2 because if I do, look what happens. Scott, what do I get? Uh, negative 6x minus 4y equals negative That's right. So the first equation stays the same, right? The second equation then simply becomes negative 6x plus negative 4y equals negative 18, right? Now, can I add them together? Yeah. And does one of the variables cancel out? Yeah, my third equation, right, would involve just one variable. Which is what? Who could tell me then? What's my next step? Okay, somebody that didn't answer before? Anybody? I got it. Okay, good. Who, uh, Nick, can you tell me what I get? What do I get here when I add them together? I get? That's right. Negative dy equals negative 12. Then, of course, we divide both sides by? Negative. 3, and so we get y equals to 4. How many forgot y equals to 4? Yes. Very good. Now, do we know how to find the x? Yes. Yeah, finding the x is the same as substitution method, right? Once you find one of the variable, you then plug into the original equation, any one of them. I think I chose a 6x plus y equals 6. And so who's got this one? Who has the answer for this? Yeah, Anita. You got one third? Okay, good. I think I got the one third. Yeah, you got the same one. Okay, so who could tell me the uh, order pair? Yeah, Amber? One third comma four. Don't write four comma one third. Okay, get that wrong then. Do you get the idea? So basic idea is to get rid of one of the variables. Does that make sense? So turns out you could always, you know, get rid of the, one of the variables. Because remember, if you have an equation, you can multiply both sides by the same number, right? The solution doesn't change. There will still be equivalent, right? What was, do you guys remember that property? What's that property called? That you can multiply both sides of an equation by the same number and you still have the same solution. Yeah. Yeah. You remember? Or you could say multiplication. It's multiplicative. It's kind of hard to say. Multiplicative property of equality. Okay. Okay. Very good. So, yeah. Why is the addition method easier than substitution? It's, it's shorter. Isn't it's it? Shorter. Isn't it shorter to do? Well, can't you just like, instead of like finding out, well, it's, it's, it's actually shorter if you have. Isn't it also easy if you just like 